Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and today we're going to be checking out the new event in Warframe Operation Tube Men of Rigor. So let's get started. Alan V believes he has discovered a cure for the infestation that riddles his body, and he wants our help to find it. However, Nefanyo has heard of this news and hates Alan V, of course, and will do anything to stop him from curing himself. Both are offering leads to the labs that hold this cure. Now we must decide which are the lesser of two evils. So you can fight with Nefanyo or Alad V. Choose which side you think is the lesser of two evils, or, like me, you can choose based on the reward you will get for siding with either one of them. <clears throat> Anyways, here's what you need to do. When you log into Warframe, you will see the event window uh, pop up. You'll get a message, blah, blah, blah. Go onto your uh, mission select screen, and you'll be able to go to one of these uh, time-limited events. These events will end when one side has gained a certain amount of victories. You'll see a percentage number next to either Alad V or Nefanyo. Now, when you go into the mission, it's very interesting. There's a completely new tile set that you'll play this mission on, and in my opinion, this is one of the best tile sets that they have released in a long time. It looks fantastic, it is really fun to play on, it just looks really good in my opinion. Nevertheless, when you play there, you will venture down into this uh, creepy looking Grenier factory. Uh, you have to find the pump room, <clears throat> you will flood the pump room with water, and then you will break open pipes to allow the water to flood pretty much everywhere. Then you will go even deeper into the caves, and then depending on who you're helping, the mission will be different. If you're helping Nefanyo, you will have to locate the genetic experiment and kill it, then go to extraction. If you're helping Alan V, there will be two different kinds of missions that I encountered. I'm not sure if they patched it to be just one, but one of them will be... You will find this room with the, these two big uh, cloning devices, and you will have to wall run up to these consoles to turn them off. And the other one is you will find two little uh, power inhibitor thingamadoo dads. You'll have to bring them to these consoles and then hack them to destroy them. Nevertheless, proceed to extraction, and you'll get your normal mission rewards. Once you do that three times for either side, it will be counted as contributing towards one of these event missions. Now you'll have to do that four times to get the end reward, and it does not matter who you sided with, as long as you participate in four of those events, you will get the weapon uh, that is given to the victors no matter what. Now what are the event rewards? First off, if you complete at least one regional battle, you'll get the event badge, which actually looks pretty cool in my opinion, but the biggest highlight of them all is the weapon that will be released depending on which side wins. Now, if uh, what's his name? Teal Rigor wins. You will get the Dare of Vandal, which it looks pretty cool. Or, I'm sorry, not Teal Rigor, <laughs> Nefanyo. You'll get the Dare of Vandal, which looks pretty cool, but the other weapon is what I'm excited about, and that is why I'm siding with Alad V, because if Alad V is victorious, you will get the Karak Wraith, which I'm putting images up on the screen right now. I think the Karak Wraith looks really sweet. I really, really liked the Karak weapon. I don't know why, just something about it felt so smooth and fun to use. Nevertheless, let me know in the comments which side you're going to be siding on, guys, and if you're excited to get either the Karak Wraith or the Dare of Andal. <clears throat> One also thing I, used, I forgot to mention, there is battle pay for participating in these global events. So far, it's just been credits, and then one of them had 20 uncommon fusion cores. That was kind of ridiculous. Nevertheless, make sure to participate in this event, guys, if you want to get one of these exclusive event weapons. They both look really cool, and I'm excited to see which one we get. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.